Alright, how are you going guys? Back on the hammer making expedition. Um, this next weekend, um, Sunday, I just I've had a real sort of bother trying to get, oh, well, I'd say motivated, but just off. A few other bits and pieces kept coming up and doing other things and getting nasty. Oh, the guy across the road's got an old, oh, about 1980 something. Holden Commodore, which is an old six cylinder thing, and had a, a Welsh plug or a freeze plug, you know, breakthrough. And wanted my, my opinion on how to repair, repair it or what he should do to get in there to re replace it. Um, so, yeah, talked to him. So, basically, yesterday was a non event because I worked in the morning and then just by the time I got everything else sort of sorted um, with my time. You know, noise curfew over here. Um, being in town, I just sort of, by the time I sort of got it ready, like I would have been only out here for probably, oh, maybe an hour tops, I suppose. Which, you know, I probably could have done a bit, but I just, by that stage, I just couldn't get motivated. And then, say, so, yeah, I was over the road looking at this guy's car and having lunch, and I thought, oh, God, you know, I just want to sit down and relax for a bit instead of running around doing everything else. And then I finally decided to come out here and have a look at this. Hammer. So I've had a bit of a measure up in the front guard where I want to really sort of use this one um, while I'm sort of making it. Um, and then I think if I can cut it down, this down to um, 300 millimeters or about I think it's 12 inches roughly, um, that should be pretty good. And then I can reshape the end of this to, to use that. And then, I don't know if you can see this. This is some of the just rough drawings I did for the, some other hammers I thought I'd make. Um, just by looking at what um, I think your name, if I'm pronouncing your name right, is it Arco um, Horton at um, Outlaw Ridge. Um, just looking at some of his videos and the hammers he showed me the other day. Um, I'm going to make a try and make a door skin hammer. Um, and I'm going to make another hammer with a um, with a round end and a square end that's got quite a good dome on it if I can um, and then you had another hammer that was just had two rounds ends um, one was slightly smaller and one was slightly bigger with just a nice gentle curve on each end but this one here was the downward sort of slope um, I suppose like it wasn't both straight one was to downhill a bit so I'm going to make, try and make that, and then he had a one that was, well actually had two hammers, one that had a, like a, like a, a, an end or a bit like this, and one was flat, and one was straight up and down, so I'm going to make that in one hammer, just for getting into different edges and different angles, and make that, and then I'm going to make another one that's got a big long, sort of piece a bit like this, but it's got like a, a big long sort of curvy bevel in it, and just have a nice round end on, end on the other one. Um, so that'll what I'll sort of try and make over the next two or three weeks or whatever, or when I get some time, um, in between to and do other things. And I want to try and get actually back into doing something on this, not just making hammers. And then the other day I seen in one of the auto parts catalogues was this cheap hammer and dolly set. So I said to the missus, and go go grab me one for so even if it's sort of half by junk, I can use a dolly as well, it is a bit, it's pretty rough, but, because it was only 50 bucks Australian, I think it was, but this is the dollies that are in it, um, so they're not terribly well finished, but it'll be better than nothing, because I haven't got anything here, so I'll clean these up a lot better than what they are, and actually get some of these other sides like, cleaned up so I can actually use these surfaces as well. Um, so as you can see, like those castings are pretty poor. Well, they just haven't been finished really. Not cleaned up and polished up the way they should be. Mind you, you wouldn't expect for 50 bucks for three hammers and four dollies. So as you can see, like they're just really rough. So I'll, I'll definitely make something out of these and clean them up. So at least I got them for working with this. So I think in New Zealand they've got one that's like this. 
and then I've got a one that's a flatter one but it's got the big long shape and I've got a couple body hammers a bit like this and, a, and on another one I think or oh, similar to some one sort of similar to this and one a bit like that I'm not sure I might have another one over home and I have got a um a body like spoon type bump hammer you know with the that almost looks like a file I've got one of those over home but I haven't got anything here so that's why I sort of mark started making things just because I've just haven't got a lot of cash just to go spend hundreds of dollars on body hammers and bits and pieces so I thought I'll well, grab this it'll give me some dollies at the least you know these are okay but they're very light and very very small <laughs> um, they might be right for for small areas or to the tight a wee bit of tight confined space stuff but they're pretty light but they might come in handy um, for what they are but they're pretty 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 average so I'll chop this down and clean this up um, make myself a handle try on this afternoon anyway get this cleaned up and then I might start trying to make and here's a plane yahoo <laughs> I'll use this end anyway, and I'll start making probably one, one of these ones, and then I'll make it up another end for the other side. So, so I'll be use these other bits of steel and stuff to make the other end as well. I might even make, try and make it a bit thicker, a bit heavier. Um, I may even use a bit of this to make make these bits. We'll see what happens. Alrighty, cheers. We'll see you later on, and we'll do some more shortly. Alrighty, back again for a quick re update. So I've shortened this up. And anyway, I cut that down to roughly 12 inches or 300 mil. Um, so that's the bit I cut off the end. So you can see how much I've sort of shortened it up. It's probably, you know, yeah, three inches maybe. So that's that one sort of sorted, um, i will still going to make a handle for it obviously, but that's that one sorted um, I might put just put a little bit more weld in that end of it and just tidy that up so I can get a nice finish on the end of that um, so yeah, that's that one sorted um, may alter the the tip of this a little bit more, I might put a bit more of a bit more of a longer point on it instead of the sort of the round sort of bullet sort of tight the end of it I suppose we sort of call that it um, may alter that later on but that'll do for now um, I'll try and start making one of these other ones alright we'll do that shortly right back again so I've started making this other hammer like I've cut my um, ring of steel and I've cut my slice out of the centre and squeezed that up and I end up using that bit of big bit of bar that I had, whatever is there that is. That be, I think it must be about five mil, um, five six mil. So I don't know. God, I'm trying to think what that would be in inches. I can't remember. <laughs> um, so I've got that uh, sort of both sort of a wedgy sort of shape. Um, I've sort of got this one pointed, so I've got this sort of harp I ready to weld on there once I get this cleaned up and welded. Um, and then I'll start working on this one to go the other way. So that's basically what I want to do there and put a nice um, sort of slope point on these, if you know what I mean. Bring them down to a nice sort of, just a, th a thickish sort of, not real sharp point, but just a, just with a nice, nice thin edge on it, but not too thin, if you know what I mean. So I'll get to gluing the rest of this together um, and clean it up and we'll see how we go. Hopefully I'll get that sort of done in the next sort of 10 15 minutes by the time I sort of get that welded on there and chopped up and whatever else. Alrighty, see you back shortly. Alright, back again guys. So I've got this um, all welded together and I've actually laid a bit of, just a, a couple of good beads of weld along the um, ends of the tips to actually get a bit of heat on the end of these and then chilled them off pretty quick to sort of harden the tips up I suppose just to make them a wee bit harder 
Um, so yeah, now I can clean all this up, grind it all up, and um, get it ready for a handle. And um, put a nice, I'll just put a nice gentle tip on these. I won't make, make it hard and sharp, I'll just make a nice gentle one sort of from probably, probably halfway along I suppose, or thereabouts, both ends. So I'll get this all cleaned up and ready to go. And um, that'll be another one ready to make a handle for. So, um, yeah, hope these guys like them. I think they'll do the job alright. I just thought um, I couldn't see much point in making two hammers with one one way or one the other. I thought I'd just, I'll make just one hammer with the, with the two variations of this on. So you can either use it one way or the other and still have plenty of weight to it. Um, you know, like I thought, you know, maybe I could put make one with one end with a round end on it, and make another one with a round end or a square end. I thought, nah, bugger it, I'll just make one with the one one way and one one the other. So that'll do. Um, I'll get this ground up, and hopefully I'll get another video before this quick video before this battery goes flat in the camera, and then I'll try and glue it all together on the computer. Alrighty, cheers. Alrighty, so this is sort of a not, this is not final, final, but this is sort of basic, sort of, you know, went more refining on the point and, you know, getting the tips a bit more even, but that's sort of, sort of cleaned up, basically, you know, I want to put a little bit more weld in here, just to make it, a, I can clean it up a bit nicer, make it a little bit smoother, I'll put a bit a more weld in around these, some of these spots, so I can sort of make it a bit more smoother like this side. Um, just to get a nicer fat finished looking hammer um, yeah, and just sort of just make it a bit more finished so that should be pretty good um, I'm pretty happy with that and just a wee, bit of, a wee bit of final work and that's hot <laughs> so, I've just been cleaning up this and I've forgot how cold hot it was so uh, yeah no, that'll be that should be pretty good um, Few more like that, and um, we won't be far away. So, you know, that's basically that one, as you can see. You know, within within reason. So that'll work, that'll work real good. So that's one down, um, and hopefully over the next week or so, I'll get some of these other ones. Um, now this one here will be a bit more interesting because I want to make this a bit thicker. Because um, according to um, oh, Argo, oh God, I hope I'm saying your name right, mate. Um, it's not a not a name I've come across. I've got some. I think that'll be overkill. That bit hammer there, but I've also got a bit of. Um, well, it's actually probably the same thickness. But I got this bit of old drill bar. You know, that I can probably cut up. Um, and probably what I'll have to do to make that. Really, to put that dip in it at the end for that um, door skin tool I'll probably have to cut it and pull it down um, again because my, just my butane tank my butane torch is not going to bend this you know I can probably cut it part way through and actually put a bit of heat on the other side and just to help me bring it around and then I'll V it out and I'll just put a nice big thick bead of weld down there um, and then try and shape the rest of it um, so yeah it's probably the only thing I really need to do and maybe um, mate if you can give me a rough measurement from the just how long each side of on those is it's probably not going to matter um, horrendously but um, just a basic measurement even if it's you know couple of inches, three inches, four inches, something like that. I'm ga gathering it's probably sort of four inches, 100 mil along here, um, just to give me a, a ballpark figure. So I've got it roughly right, um, and maybe even just a width of the head that you've got and the one that you haven't cut off on each side. Um, I might, I may make a cut off version later on you know, once I've sort of got these made and you know if I ever need it um, <laughs> probably not but 
who knows, like I want to do more cars later on after this one once I get back to New Zealand or whatever I end up doing. Because my partner wants a, um, a four-door, um, what we call a Ford Falcon over here, like she wants a, like a 70, I think it's a 70 XY. Yeah, one of the, there's a, there's four Ford Falcons they made between, well, they 67, I think, and 71. They were an XT, XR, XW and XY, and all very similar body shape. Cosmetic difference is quite a, quite a bit, you know, a little, a little bit different than those and rear. XR and XT are quite similar, and XY and XW are quite similar, but very, very similar body style. Um, quite square, quite a square car. Um, but yeah, they, they were like a race car, there was a race car version they called it the GTHO or a GT, depending on what year um, they were, and then she would quite like a sort of a replica of a, what they call the GTHO version. Um, especially the XY, man, they're pretty cool car back in the day like they raced them around um, Bathurst and pretty an exceptional pretty an exceptional race car for the for the day um, for for a four-door sedan <laughs> um, so yeah they're pretty pretty famous over here in um, New Zealand and I don't know like actually the other cool thing is um, I know um, James Hatfield from Metallica has been for a ride in one so <laughs> I think that's sort of Gives the misses a bit of a bit of a bit of a turn on, so but anyway, um yeah, so that's that's one hammer made. So yeah, I'll get I'll probably I don't know whether I'll make which one I'll make next, but I'll get this one fully cleaned up, another one cleaned up, and I'll get a handle on hopefully over the next couple of days. 